Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Masters of the World, Geopolitical Simulator 3. I'm your lovely host, Kelvin. And today, we're going to be playing this game. It's a world simulation game, where you take control of the country upon January 1st, 2013. And, of course, for fan favorite reasons, I am going to have to take control of Ethiopia. I really wish I could sit in this menu and describe this game to you. But, as far as I'm concerned right now, the only way I can just even show you this game at all is if I actually start playing it. Because this game is a true-to-heart simulation of economics, politics, and just about everything. I'm going to use the ETB as our on-screen currency, and I'm going to keep the game speed pretty fast. I'm playing on low difficulty because Ethiopia is one of the hardest nations, politically and economically, and... Ugh, everything else. So, there is just no advantage to playing Ethiopia. But I'm sure it's what you guys would love to see, so so be it. There's also awesome animations. After giving televised holiday wishes that will not soon be forgotten, the head of state spent Christmas Eve in private with his family. But early the Fuck off. I don't need to hear about my own inauguration, thank you. Because I have to go listen to Kui Q of the Chinese Raiding Agency call me a dunscap. Your economic record and debt combined with what appears to be an inability to take the steps necessary to restore market confidence are the reasons for your low rating. Your country is rated as being very high risk for investors. Let me remind you, in case you're unaware, that our assessment is mainly based on your projected budget deficit, the amount of your debt, and, this specific to our agency, on the operating expenses of your public sector. Yeah, so, in short, we are rated very poorly by the only credit rating, rating agency to actually give us credit rating. Let's go talk about our debt. Our debt is 44% of our total GDP, which isn't actually all that bad, but, uh... Basically, we have a total credit rating of a C, meaning interest rates for anyone who wants to loan to us is going to be absurdly high, and yeah, that's not good. Alright, so right now we're stuck right now with uh, a fairly sizable army of 138,000 people, uh, with 121,000 reservists, 500,000 commandos, and they're paid a terrifyingly low salary, compared to most military anyway. Uh, that is very bad. <laughs> that is very bad for us. But right now, I can work with that. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to fix our budget deficit, which is 5.16 of the GDP. In addition, I have to deal with our unemployment rate being 43%. Uh, health expenditure, yeah, we're okay. On that. And then I also have to deal with the Politburo. Whoops. I'm sorry to bounce, bounce, just to hit my mic like that. Um, but this is the current state of the political parties. Uh, you can't really see that number, right? Let me bring up the parliament screen. This is the Socialist Labor League in parliament. Mm hmm. Yeah. Ain't this something, huh? So here's the thing. We're a dictatorship, and strangely enough, we have opposing viewpoints on all three things. We have opposing viewpoints on the president, that's me, the party, that's the Politburo, the military, and as a result, it's actually very hard to maintain power and get things done in a way that I'd like, and in a way that actually works efficiently. So first thing first, I need to side with somebody. And, you know, depending on the policy I choose, I can either choose to side with the Politburo and try and uh, weed the military's power out of the government, or I can side with the military and try and contain my party. I could also potentially thaw the dictatorship. I would do it too. But right now, I'm going to implement a populist tax policy. Excellent. Do I want to do it all the way? Yeah, we'll just abolish the income tax. Do a television appearance. There we are. 
that gives us a pretty sizable budget excess. Unfortunately, for the amount of tax we're now going to be extracting from people through the inheritance system, it's highly inefficient. Um, since I can't raise the inheritance tax much higher. I can't get it above 100%. So that'll have to do. Now, this is a populist tax policy. It's going to make everyone love me. It's the best start to things. I need to gain the support of the military and the Secret Service. I'm going to give a pension out. Again, although the party likes this, uh, the military will hate this. If I were to just throw out this stuff without doing the tax stuff right now, I would incidentally just be overthrown by the military. Like, I sit in a very precarious balance, and these are token. I'd like to remind you I'm imp implementing $10 a month minimum wage. And this is 0 0.05 on the dollar, so... Well, that would mean, what, 50 cents a month? Yeah, 50 cents a month. Minimum wage. And the military throws a fit over that, if you can believe it. <laughs> we must not be lured into adopting rigorous measures. Rather, we must stimulate consumption and restore consumer confidence. In order to achieve this, we must decrease income taxes. This is the good news that I wanted to share with you. Alright. In addition, for more populist policies, we're going to be modifying our salary pretty significantly. We have uh, a lot of salary reduction to do. We are paid about 800 grand. That means about, in American dollars, 40 grand a month. 480,000 a year in Ethiopia. <laughs> For record, that's more than the Prime Minister of Canada makes, by about a factor of 1.5, and yeah. So with the purchasing power that is in Ethiopia, you could understand why this might be a problem. Now unfortunately my changes to tax policies have completely screwed up what is and is not a budget deficit. So the game actually has no idea, right now, what the hell anything costs. I'll have to wait about a week to figure out that out. Uh -oh. Alright, so we'll cut to 410,000 to keep the party happy. There we are. Now. Come January... Uh, come midnight, January 2nd, things are going to get interesting. Is there any last laws I'd like to uh, perhaps implement? I did implement a minimum wage, good. Uh, I could potentially also implement something related to... Um, culture and s or sports, sorry, which is always fun to do, but we'll see. I'm just gonna see where the things land me right now. The answer is 72% popular opinion, some minor protests. Purchasing power is up, good, that's important. We're also going to establish basic family allowances. Incidentally, something the party seems to like. Good. I'm mostly concerned about the party. I know I right now will have the support of the military. 22 billion? Seems good. With your un Yes, I know. I have terrible unemployment. And I have more and more info being thrown to me. I don't care. My mother is incompetent. Okay. While we're assassinated. Disturbances are erupting all over the country. To announce authoritarian policy and raise awareness of the country's muzzling. Okay, so their protests are over the fact that I'm a dictatorship. That I can work with. That's easy to fix. We need to thaw the dictatorship a little bit. Uh, you know. We'll give them freedom of expression. They probably would hate me if I did that. There. Granted some freedom of expression. And uh, this should work. There we are. Nice, nice. Commandos of the way of the future, thank you for the advice. Okay. 
The budget of spend thrift policies is strong power. Waste all money, lose all the power. Very simple as that, Prime Minister. So yes, the Secretary General of the party, he's okay with me. That's good. I have to be careful how I step with him, though. More agitations. Deficit requires attention. We don't have a particularly bad budget deficit right now. Uh, in fact, I believe we have an excess, do we not? 6.34% of the GDP. That is perfectly acceptable. So everything's fine. All right. You have to strike while the iron is hot. So what are you and your government waiting for? For pigs to fly? These townspeople, not too bright. So I'm letting you know I'll come back to see you if things don't improve. Okay, that seems odd. All right. What else do we have to deal with? Insufficient means. We got poor people. Overcrowded prisons. Space problem in elementary schools. But yeah, the party doesn't like me destabilizing the dictatorship and thawing it. I traveled for two days, despite the pain in my hip, because of your stupid minimum retirement age. With yeah, that's nice. I don't care. Alright. It looks like we're getting away with it. The party hasn't gone too crazy to overthrow me yet. It helps that I have a 73% approval rating, of course. Uh, the military is good with me. Secret Service seem okay with me. And I need to have my mother assassinated. Oh, no, it's military operations, sorry. She's popular. Wife less than popular. Everyone's popular for the time being. So um, as long as she doesn't, you know, misstep, she'll get to live. Income tax. Out of state is a good teacher. Put all of his energy into getting law passed. According to sources. Some lawmakers are impressed by the televised statement and are ready to vote in favor of such a bill. The appearance will show the viewers found it relevant and compelling. See, so yeah, everyone was in favor of me destroying the income tax. Like I said, everything I did there was, in a nutshell, a populist policy. I'm also going to raise the key interest rate. With an inflationary rate of 22.5%, I need to, unfortunately, will decimate spending power, which is okay. Uh, when does this... 13th. Okay. The decree takes effect as of today. Good, good. Young people, attention in danger. Yeah, the idleness of young people is a problem right now. Interest rate increases. Yep, central bank has increased the interest rate. Uh, higher credit interest rate means less credit in the economy, but it does mean that there is less money entering the economy as a result. The decree takes effect as of today. Good, my pay cut is in. That's making people happy. Disastrous for the budget. No, I think the welfare will The help. national defense does not have enough men to fulfill its missions. I think that a well-conducted recruit... I see. Statements in press, uh-oh. The decree takes effect... Okay, inheritance tax is through. Services are erupting all over the country. Not again. And it's the authoritarian the country is muzzling, so... UN report. Global education. Yeah, we suck at education. I'm not surprised. Alright. We're going to change to a free multi-party system. I'm going to thaw out the dictatorship significantly. 
Secondary schools are feeling The cramped. decree takes effect. Your wife's making a mess. Major political disturbances. Yes. Necessary prepare yourself an election campaign in order to please the voters. Yes. Now, if anyone's looking at my approval rating, I should have no problem winning out an election. Unfortunately, I've been concerned about the Politburo, as you've seen they've been making some statements against me. So I feel I'm far better off in the hands of the people than I am in the hands of the Politburo. Dictatorships are nice and all, but unfortunately it requires me to tow party lines. I can't make agreements with other parties and uh, slowly position myself into uh, being able to do anything I so desire by manipulating the parliament. Then, uh, you know, just having a single party. It's a bit of a problem, actually. What else do we have? Yeah, the protests are over. The decree takes. The laws decree are going takes through. The decree laws are going takes through. You know full well that in our services, the empathy curve usually stays close to zero. However, I have placed my agents under surveillance, and I can assure you that after what you've done for them, you're in the good books of 98.7% of the staff. I would still be careful, though, to ensure this emotional disruption doesn't get out of hand. In the field, an emotional agent is a dead agent. So, the Secret Service have gotten my back pocket. Yes, the budget deficit is important, I agree. There is a gap between the rich and the rich poor. Good. So, we have that. I don't really want to entirely jeopardize everything I've done, but I'll work on it. The budget deficit right now is in excess of 15% of my GDP. It's, it's like, your budget deficit's bad. It's like, no. No, it is not. That is not how this works. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. With a 15% of the GDP, I might see about sitting on this for a couple months. Yeah, so the parliament right now is going to be consultative only. But having different consultations in parliament will significantly weaken the uh, Socialist Labor League. Multi-party system will help in that regard. All right. If you're wondering who this guy is... Hello, I'm Professor Archibald Rainwater. You may already know me if you did the tutorial. I'm here to give you advice. I won't get in... And that's why I just tell him to shut up. <laughs> I'm here to give you advice. Fuck off. Uh, I don't need no advice. If anyone knows how to run a country, it's me. And I'd say most of the people seem to agree with me. Among other things. Ugh. We're only 15 days in. I would really like to get to the end of the month. For the first episode. I guess we'll play until then. Laws are being passed. Public finances. We've got... Oh, okay. What are these demonstrations? Over? Demonstration against unemployment. Okay. The decree takes a... We have unemployment problems. Alcohol issues. He appreciates me, but like I said, the Politburo is against me right now. Pretty badly. And this is bad. So we need to work on our unemployment issues right now. I would wager that we could do a hell of a lot. Like, I'm going to give some pretty significant funding here. Like, most of my everythings. Everyone should be pretty happy about that. Deplorable state of housing. We can work on that. Reducing inequality and social injustice. Undoubtedly, you. The women's will rights leagues are uh, praising me. Your commitment to defending family values is a model for the whole of humanity. Everyone's happy with me. You're really peachy keen, and I tell you that I keep harping on to my great great grandchildren about it. It's true. You're the creme de la creme. And I've seen them come and go. Everyone's happy. What do you know? Now I just have to make sure the Politburo and or military doesn't just go and uh, screw everything up. Oh, there's a disaster. Famine in Burundi. That's nice. 
I, I can't say I particularly care. In Eridia? I forgot how to say that. Country? Yes. Again, I can't say that I really care. I mean, if anything, gives me a reason to invade them. It's like, we have food. We're giving them food. Ethiopia is a model country for the international monetary. <laughs> the IMF loves me. The IMF is like, I don't know what you're doing, but you're doing good shit. Alright. The decree takes effect as of... 75% approval rating. Excellent. 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 I wanted to inform you of the support of the entire population who all agree with your brave reforms. The more attached the people become to you, the more willing they will be to support you on those occasions when your policy displeases your peers. Yep. Public finances, unhappy face. What's the matter? Uh, functional light tax on this country. Yeah, we need to potentially. Wait, what? You're a socialist policy. You're, you are the Socialist Labor League. And you're telling me I need to lower corporate taxes. I mean, okay, that's fine, it's just, what the fuck? I'll drop that to an exact 20%. How about that? That should help a little bit. And keep market confidence a little high. I don't know. Not exactly sure what the hell all that's about. Like I said, when I said socialist before, I was using some air quotes. Oh, the president of Costa Rica wishes to meet with me. Excellent. Alright. I'm afraid I have to refuse. I understand your issues. I truly do, as the Minister of Education, uh, and I will help you, but next month. Mm hmm. Slight decrease in extreme poverty. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> Managing to lift people out of extreme poverty, if you can believe it. What's in the news today? I'm not surprised. There are a lot of issues we have right now. I would like to draw your attention to the short shorter men in the armed forces. I disagree. In fact, I disagree so hard that I'm actually going to be cutting men. Uh, we'll we'll drop to 130,000. Good. The decree takes effect as of today. Good, good, good. So far, we managed to skirt around the edges of things and not get overthrown the first month, which is often the hardest part. And it is now Friday, February 01, which means many of our graphs have updated. In the last month, thanks to my change to the key interest rate, I have dropped inflation rate from 22.5% to 20%. How about that? In one month, budget is 8.69% excess of the GDP. I'm probably going to try and keep it that high for the first quarter at least, because I want to start trying to pay back debt, because we're paying such ridiculous interest on it. Then I need to try and get rid of debt first. That'll free up a lot more money with which to do other things. However, I do need to work on one problem. Here's our housing conditions right now. It's pretty bad. Pretty much all housing is dilapidated. 
but luckily it's not too hard to fix and it creates a fuckload of jobs to do. It's not too expensive, creates a lot of jobs, and so it'll be definitely something I'll be interested in doing with Zoo. So yeah, it's a good start. Uh, how's unemployment? We've dropped it 0.2% this month, thanks to our radical forward policies on trying to get everybody fucking employed as quickly as possible. Alright, it's a good start. I like where this is heading. So without further ado, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. This has been your lovely, lovely host, Galvin, signing off.